All right, hello guys, how are you guys doing today? So, this video is gonna talk about hopes that, uh, well, they're not gonna happen, obviously, but I really wanna talk about weapons that I hoped get buffed. So, let's start off with the shooters. So, the first shooter I really want to be good is the Splattershot Pro. Now, I don't necessarily think the Splattershot Pro should get a movement speed buff, like run speed or anything like that. I think it needs more like ink drops. I think the ink drops for the Splattershot Pro should be changed from like, like every six to five shots to like one to two. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about like the ink drops that, that happen below your feet depending on how many shots come out of your weapon, you know? Like, it's really long for the Splattershot Pro, which makes it very clunky and awkward because, you know, you don't really get somewhere. But that's really what I'm expecting for the Splattershot Pro. Not necessarily a mobility buff, just a... I, I guess just a buff to make it to where, you know, you, you can paint your feet without, you know, looking down and whatnot uh, that consistently. But aside from that, the one I really want, the, the, the shooter that I really want to be really good is the Splattershot Nova. Now, there are three things that I believe they could do to make Nova good, but I'm gonna just make it uh, two things, just, just to keep it consistent. So the first buff I would give it would be an accuracy buff. That's, that's no question without a doubt. That's something that should happen. The Nova definitely needs an absolute accuracy buff. The one that they gave it, the 8%, wasn't enough to make it good, like consistently. It's, it's still not consistent enough to make it good. Now, the second buff I want to the Splattershot Nova, and I know this is gonna sound weird, and this this might be a pretty, this might be a pretty hard buff. Could be strong, it could make the Nova really good. They should also increase the ink drops for the Nova. Instead of making it two to three, they should just make it for every shot that comes out of your, uh, for your weapon. It just paints your feet automatically for every shot. I think that would go hard. I think that would be such a cool buff. I'm, I'm not expecting that. I hope they do it because that would make a really fun playstyle, especially for the Splattershot Nova. You know, running and gunning with, you know, good range, high accuracy, and, you know, consistent mobility all the time. That would be so cool. And the last shooter I want to talk about that should be buffed is the H3 Nozzle Nose. I swear, dude, this gun does not get love. It doesn't get anything. It got a bullet drop-off buff, which is crazy that it only got one buff. I, I actually think it's fair to give this an attack speed buff. And maybe, maybe, this also might be a hot take, a range buff. I, I, I think it really needs it. I don't think the weapon is that good, and it really, really requires high level uh, of skill to just play the weapon decently. I think it's too crazy to play the H3, uh, consistently do good with it, assuming that you're not, you know, playing the weapon a lot. But I, I really do think the H3 just needs two buffs to make it really good. I think the the cooldown for the three shots should come out faster, and I think the range needs to be increased. That's what I believe should happen for the H3. Okay, now moving on from that, let's talk about rollers. Rollers, rollers, rollers. So the first roller I'm, uh, I really hope they buff is the Dynamo Roller. Now, I mean, it's good in damage, it's good in range, but the two buffs that I really, really hope they do with the Dynamo, the first one is a little bit more painting to the horizontal. I, I think it's fair and it's just to give it a little bit more consistent paint when it comes to the horizontal, because every time I play the Dynamo, it feels awkward and it feels kind of clunky when I get those, those that, that weird horizontal hitbox and, and it feels like it doesn't connect for the most part. But that has most to do with the hitbox and not the painting. I, I do want a painting buff because I think it's fair. It takes an eternity to just swing the dang thing. So it, it's fair for me. Now, the second buff I want for Dynamo is, again, this might be a controversial take, but I also want the vertical hit. So when you jump and you press the attack button and you do like the, the big wind up and swing, I want it to be the exact same speed as the horizontal. I, I think it would actually go hard. Now, let's move on to the, 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 the next roller, the big swig roller. This one's a weird one. Uh, two buffs for this one. So the first buff is for the vertical swing, I would increase the damage and the kill zone from, I think it's like two, maybe three lines away. I would definitely increase the kill zone a lot more than what it what it has right now and the second thing i would do is increase the range of the vertical swing i, I honestly 
don't think it's even worth having that, you know, I, I think it's weird that the big swig doesn't have a powerful vertical swing. You know, like it, it's it's pretty fast, but it's not necessarily lethal. You know, even up close, there's a high chance you're gonna miss, which definitely has, which adds a learning curve to the big swig. And I mean, giving it more range wouldn't really hurt the weapon. It would actually make it better for fighting for longer range engagements. And that's what I would do with the big swig. Now, moving on to buckets. There's only one bucket that I really want. I guess a little minor buff because I, I always have problems with this. It definitely is more of a me problem. I think the Explosher just needs more ink efficiency. I genuinely don't think that weapons like Explosher and Wellstring, you know, obviously they're not in the same category, but they kind of function the same except the Wellstring has a one shot. And if I'm being honest, it has a little bit more, uh, more, uh, what's it called? Ink efficiency compared to Explosher, which I don't even think Explosher has very good ink efficiency at all. It feels like I run out of shots so fast and it, it, it's not even fun. It's just, I have to make a build, focus on ink main saver, which is really annoying. And, and I kind of want the Explosher to have a little bit more, you know, more efficiency, more ink efficiency. That's the biggest hope I, I hope that they buff the Explosher. That's what I hope for. Now, moving on from buckets is splatlings. There's only one splatling I want to see any changes, and that's the mini splatling. I mean, th there's two buffs that I really want for the mini splatling. One is more of a, you know, could happen. Will it happen? Maybe not. So the first one is accuracy. I think the weapon's accuracy is all over the place. It's, it feels terrible to play this weapon with so with, with accuracy so bad like it's all over the place at least to me it feels like it's so inconsistent even when you're grounded like it feels like it's inconsistent like i'm not shooting directly where i want it to go and even the projectile speed isn't that fast but the second buff that i really want for the mini splatling and again this might be a controversial take is i i really hope they add a charge hold to the mini splatling, similar to the ballpoint and Nautilus when you're grounded and you're shooting, you know, you charge up the, the splatling and you let loose on the flurry of bullets that come out. And if you want to recharge the weapon, you can hold the trigger and it'll start reloading the gun. I think that would be really cool for many. I think it's a well needed buff for the weapon considering that it's not really a good splatling when it comes to close quarters. I think it really needs that to be more consistent. I think it would definitely be a good, I think it would definitely be a great buff for it. Okay, but enough about that. Let's move on to dualies. Okay, dualies, let's start off with the dapples. So I think the dapples, now this is more of a rework if anything. I definitely think it needs a third roll. It's fair. The thing doesn't even go far. It's definitely lethal, but the problem is that the mobility isn't there. Definitely needs more mobility. Dapples just need that extra push to make it good, and I think a third roll would absolutely be nice. I've played the weapon multiple times, and it always feels like I just don't have enough, I guess, more of a gap closer. I don't have a gap closer. It, it feels more like I'm just slightly moving up. I think I do better with run speed, if I'm being honest. Now, enough about that. Let's talk about the other two, which I'm gonna put in the same category, the Squelchers and Tetras. Now, you're probably wondering, what kind of buff should I give these uh, dualies? So one hope that I really, really gets touched is that both the Squelcher and the Tetras get 100%, well, not 100% accuracy, obviously, but I hope that instead of them having double crosshairs, like the two little circles in front of you, it just combines into one. I always, every time and i know this is me because i know this is a skill issue when i play these weapons get so annoyed when i revert to the double crosshair and it messes up my aim because i always you know i'm always used to one so it's just like oh crap you know like i you know it's i'm not used to the venn diagram crap so yeah it squelcher would definitely be better if it only had one crosshair where you're just consistently shooting at one point which would make it really accurate and would make it really good tetras on the other hand if it had one crosshair when you roll for every shot it doesn't interrupt the shooting which is the one problem i have with tetras every time you roll the crosshair always goes back to the double and then it goes back to the single which is so annoying i hate that and it really bothers me i hope they do something about this because it, it really does annoy me and the last dually 
I want to talk about are the Dowser Duelies. Uh, I mean, this isn't really a hot take, it's more like a, like a weird buff. But the one buff that I really want for Dowsers is for the roll to come out faster and the shot to also come out faster when you roll. I think this weapon could make one of the coolest glass cannon weapons that I have ever played. Because I, I really enjoy playing Dowsers, especially when it comes to that single roll. And that one roll matters because if you miss and you mess up, you're dead. But if you lock on, you roll in the right position and everything is just right, that roll becomes so lethal and it becomes so good. That's the one thing I'm hoping for Dowsers. All right, moving on to the Brellas. All right, let's talk about the Splatbrella. So I hear a lot of people want the damage for the Splatbrella to come back and they want it to be 90. Now, I know people are going to be mad at me, but you know what? I don't care. Umbrella is a shotgun. It needs to act like a shotgun. So for the love of anything that is out there, please make the Splatbrella a one shot. I need that thing to do 120 damage. I don't get why the Brella does two shots to kill. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Oh, but it has a shield. That shield does not matter if you're not getting inside and it takes forever to walk with that shield anyways. Plus, Splatanus can break it. The new Wellstring can easily break it. Literally anything can break it. Even Wavebreaker, which is regarded as one of the worst specials, can easily break that thing, probably. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just hope Brella just gets a high damage buff. I think it's worth putting a one-shot on the Brella just to test it. I think it would be fair. The second Brella that I really want buff is the Recycled. I, I really think the Recycled Brella just needs a... I just think it needs a range buff. It, that's it. That's that's what I believe it really needs. It, it just doesn't feel like the impact of the recycled Brella is there. I feel like it ha should have more range compared to what it has now. Even then, the shield is kind of pathetic, which I mean, I don't care. It's nice protection and it's nice damage nullification, which is nice. But all I really think the recycled really needs is just, just a range buff and that's it. I, I think that would be perfect for the weapon and you know, solid weapon. All right, now moving on to blasters. Unfortunately, I only have one blaster here and that's the S blast. I really like playing this weapon. It's honestly kind of fun, but the one problem I always face when playing this weapon is just, why doesn't this weapon have more range for the grounded one shot? It feels like it's not long enough. I'm not saying to increase the AOE. I think that was kind of dumb just to increase the AOE because that, that's more of a skill issue more than a, you know, a problem with the weapon. I think the weapon itself needs more range to make the one shot more lethal to me at least that would be really good and that would feel fun to play okay now moving on to the brushes so all the brushes in my opinion need buffs i don't like how any of them play i don't like how any of them feel i did i do main the brush well i used to main the brush but the ink brush in my opinion uh there are two buffs that could go either way one buff which i would absolutely definitely would love is to is for them to just increase the damage from 30 to 45 the ink brush does not need to be a four shot i don't want to break my finger every time i want to slash at an enemy for pete's sake increase the damage it takes too dang long to kill with that thing if you make it into a three shot it would be the equivalent of being killed by i i think uh end zap it, it's basically the same time to kill which isn't too bad, but I mean, again, I would rather it be a three shot than a four shot because it's so annoying to just play the weapon. And the second alternative, which I wouldn't mind, is just to make it faster. Make it like sploosh fast. For every swing, I instantly go in the ground regardless. You know, for every time I want to start the roll, I go faster. Like the thing just needs to be faster. Either one of those two, I'd take either a damage or a speed buff. I wouldn't mind it. And I genuinely think these are the only two that could mix well with the ink brush now moving on to the ink brush let's talk about the octo brush i think the octo brush is a good weapon but the biggest problem i always have with this weapon is that it just never can paint consistently and i hate it i don't like how it paints it's such a nuisance because it doesn't feel like it paints i feel like paintbrush does the painting job better and it has the the good hitbox i think paintbrush's hitbox is good but octobrushes just feels off every time i swing the weapon it just feels like it doesn't paint and it irritates me 
That's the one thing I hope they do with the Octobrush is increase that painting output. That painting output needs to go up. That needs to be good. It's so annoying that I have to use a bomb to paint in front of me rather than the weapon itself because it's just so it, it's just so inconsistent. It feels like I'm playing the Splattershot Pro when I'm painting. It's just not there. And the last one is the paintbrush. Oh boy, this is going to be a hottie. This is going to be this is going to cause a massive disagreement. Now, for the paintbrush, People might not like this, but you know what? I don't care. I think I, I think I read on the stats that the paintbrush takes 24 frames to start. That needs to decrease from 24 to 15 or 10 at best. The paintbrush is just too dang slow to do anything. It needs to be faster. Now, I know a lot of people are probably gonna disagree with me there because the paintbrush is kind of, you know, uh, new. I guess a noob stomper and a noob friendly weapon, which I really like the paintbrush by the way, but I mean, it, it just needs the buff, man. It feels so awkward trying to swing the thing when a roller can just basically do it, but even faster and kill you by the time you even start swinging. And heck, you probably won't even have a chance to swing by the time a roller gets you. But the paintbrush just, it just takes too dang long. It, it just takes too dang long to start. I think if the startup was lower or, you know, not there, it would be better. That's, that's what I really believe. All right, moving on from the brushes, let's go to the stringers. Now, the only stringer that I really want buffed is the tri-stringer. I hope, and this is a big hope, that instead of buffing paint and the tightness of the shots, the one thing that I really want for the stringer is for them to buff the, the tightness of the one shot when you jump. So, if you're charging up the shot with a tri-stringer and you're fully charged and you're grounded, the triple shot will come out as natural. But when you jump, it's basically like a charger. You're just sniping at one point and it's always and you always get those consistent one shots when you jump. It, it still it, it still acts as counterplay because when you're jumping, you have you are easily punishable when you're jumping. So it's fair for the tri-stringer because not only are you putting yourself in a position that you know you could easily get punished but you're also getting rewarded if you aim right that, that to me should be at least the buff that the tri-stringer should get when you jump and you do the little vertical like when, when you change the bow vertically the, sh the shot should be one and hit the target consistently that to me is the one buff that i want for the tri-stringer all right now the last class is the splatanas oh boy let's talk about wiper wiper doesn't really need like substantial buffs or debuffs, <laughs> nerfs, sorry. But this is gonna sound weird, but <laughs> the one buff I really want for Wiper is for them to increase the damage for the blade, not the not the projectile, not the not the not the projectile blade. I don't need that to increase from 30 to 45. I think that'd be ridiculous. 30 is perfect for the projectile. I'm talking about the actual sword itself, the Wiper itself. The damage is 15 if you hit the blade. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's really weak. That needs to increase by at least five or 15 additional damage. I need that thing to be a two shot when I'm up close and swinging. That would make a fun play style. It's not necessary, it won't really do much. It's This is more of a me thing because I find it fun just swiping enemies with the wiper. At least to me, I think the wiper should be a two shot when you're that close. But again, <laughs> I think it would be funny. I, I actually think it would be funny. But this is something I'm really expecting for Wiper is for the the damage from the blade. Just hit harder. I just need the Wiper to hit harder. All right. And the last weapon to talk about, the new weapon, the Splatana, the Mint, the Charcoal Decavitator. I don't care what you want to call it. That needs a charge speed attack buff. My goodness, I love this weapon, but my goodness, it just takes too dang long to do anything with this thing. When I charge it up, it feels like I'm running through molasses. It feels like it, it feels like the weapon is charging at a snail space. I feel even Hydra has more lethality when you charge up the thing by even half. It, it feels like Hydra just has more impact more impact compared to Decavitator. When I charge Decavitator, it, it just feels like I just take too dang long to do anything. So the one buff I really want for Decavitator is for them to just 
increase the charge attack sp the, the speed of the charge that's all i want them to do the dash would feel better the slashing would feel better everything would just overall feel better like everything would just feel more comfy at least at least to me it would feel comfy well those are my biggest hopes for what should not should happen those are my biggest hopes for what i what i want to happen they're not really predictions or or guesses those are more like i just kind of want this to happen because you know that would definitely be fun it would fix inconsistencies to a lot of weapons and it would just make it overall just really fun to play at least to me well let me know in the comments what you guys want to see buffed if you do want to see buffed or let me see if you want to get something nerfed i personally don't want to see anything nerfed even if trizuka people complain about that special weapon a lot i personally don't care about trizuka that much but yeah just let me know what you want to see buffed or nerfed anyways thanks for watching guys Thank you.